what's up you guys if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Reagan and today I'm gonna be doing a bookshelf tour she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see so I'm so sorry I look so rough right now it is 12 21 at night <laughs> So it's a little late for me to be making a video, but I knew I needed to make it tonight um, because I'm going to have another few busy days ahead of me. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video in. So my bookshelf is actually pretty small. I started like buying books about a year ago. And so this is just my collection over a year. I used to be totally against buying books because I would read them in like one day and then never pick them up again. And so I would thought it was a waste of money. But once I really started thinking about about it I realized that um, these books that I do buy are like treasures and so I figured it would be important for me to buy them especially ones that I absolutely love or books that like really changed my life so about a year ago I started collecting books and buying used and new books um, because beforehand I was just reading books from the library and then just like returning them obviously <laughs> So like I said, it is kind of small, but I think it'd be cool to document the books that I do have right now so that in a couple years when I make another bookshelf tour, I can just see the progress and how many new books I've gotten. Also, I am overflowing kind of on these shelves. I probably have a little bit more space for a few more books, but I ultimately would like to get a new bookshelf here soon. So I'm really excited about that. All right, so let's just get to it. Okay, so here is kind of an overview of my shelf. Um, it's six cubes. I got this actual shelf from Walmart, and so I really love it. So starting off at this top cube, I just have this candle that I hate. <laughs> Um, somebody got me this for Christmas and I just don't like the smell of it so I just put it up there for decoration so up here I have my Colleen Hoover shelf um, as you guys probably know Colleen Hoover is my favorite author and so I have bought almost all of her books now um, I'm missing one because I let my sister-in-law borrow it but it goes right here so yeah these are not in any particular order but I probably want to put them in a different order soon either in publication order or um, kind of like order of my favorite or something like that unsure but it's gonna happen soon okay and then up here um, like I was saying earlier I'm kind of starting to outgrow this shelf so um, I have some books kind of in the back but um, I have my little cactus he's so cute um, <laughs> So let me pull these books out. All right, so back here I have the After Series by Anna Todd. I've only read the first book and a half of the second one, um, and I read them both online, but I bought the series thinking I was going to eventually get to them, but yeah, I don't think so. Um, and then I have Dear Martin by Nick Stone, um, which I had to get this for one of my elementary education classes this semester and read it, um, although it's not... An elementary child book it's actually a YA book so um, do not be deceived next up we have speak by Lori Anderson um, just read that this month um, burn for burn I don't actually know who this is by Jenny oh Jenny Han and somebody else I'm pretty sure I bought this book at second and Charles because I thought it sounded good um, like probably like last summer and I have not picked it up nor do I think I ever will so I might unhaul this book eventually next up we have the redemption of Callie and Caden and the co or sorry yeah these are in the wrong order but the coincidence of Callie and Caden and then the redemption of Callie and Caden um I love these books they're both by Jessica Sorensen all right and now I have put these books back um starting right here I have the bromance book club by Lisa K Adams um I absolutely adored this book I read this book in April and gave it five stars so good then I have another Colleen Hoover book regretting you and um the unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren fixer up by Tessa Bailey um these are books that I just like absolutely love the covers and like the colors of them so I just put those there and then over here I have two three more Colleen Hoover books um I tried to make it like Colleen Hoover across the board but I didn't have enough to fit in one cube and then I didn't have enough to fit all like fit in the next cube so I just have some more um 
like here and here. So Verity, Bitcoin, Hoover, Losing Hope, and Point of Retreat. The next shelf, I have my um, Mortal Instruments series. I just bought this in my last haul. And then I have, uh, these are actually all books from my last haul except for The Wives. Um, I have Redemption Road by Katie Ashley and then Charm of You by Jennifer Probst. Um, the Vicious Cycle, which is what I'm reading right now, it goes right here, but it's on my bed because um, I'm reading that. And then I have The Wives by Taryn Fisher. It was okay. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next shelf. This is another one where I have books in the back. All right, so here I have the Thoughtless series by S.E. Stevens. Absolutely love this series. And then this one is like, like a side character story, but I've never read this one yet. Then I have The Bride Test by Helen Huang. Um, love this book. Another randomly placed Colleen Hoover book. I feel like this one's kind of irrelevant because... It just is. Then I have Collide by Gail McHugh. This is the first in a duology or duet, I think. Um, I don't really know how to use those two words. So anyways, <laughs> I never read the second book. The first book was just okay. Then I have the second and the third book in the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Um, I have never read them and I don't really know if I actually plan to, but I got these for free. So I figured I'd just stick them on my bookshelf. All right, and then I have this little fig plant that I got from TJ Maxx. I have Lady Midnight, which is the Dark Artifacts number one, and then I have The Help. I actually haven't read either of these yet. Obviously, I need to read The Mortal Instruments and The Infernal Devices before I get to The Dark Artifacts, but this book was like $2, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up because I figured I'd get to it eventually. Then I have Untouchable by Sam Marino. I won this in a giveaway, um, so really cool. And then um, I got Fight or Flight by Samantha Young. I actually haven't read this one yet, but it was also in my May haul. All right, moving down to this bottom shelf. Again, I have some books in the back. So down here, I have the selection series. I'm missing the third book in the first original selection series, which I really need to get because I freaking love this series and it's one of my favorite YA series. So I would like to get the rest of the books in that series. These two right here, uh, The Heir and the Crown are spinoff and um, Happily Ever After is short stories from the world. Next, I have um, Road Trip Summer, which this is, I'm pretty sure, two books in one. Oh yeah, okay, so this is Two Way Street and Right of Way, so I think it's two books, written by Lauren Barnholt, and still haven't read this. I figured I'd buy it. It was like $3. Next to it, we have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I read this book about a year ago. Well, maybe a little bit less and really loved it, but I never read the second or the third one. So I really need to pick those up. Next up, we have The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Hand. It's like a three in one. And then lastly, we have One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I got like ha almost halfway through this. Or no, I went like more than halfway and I never finished it but I really need to pick that back up and finish it. All right and down here um, we have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I just read this book this month actually and loved it. Um, then we have Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I'm supposed to be buddy reading this soon with my friend Evie but we just haven't gotten to it yet. And then right here I have Undaunted by Ronnie Douglas and um, Beautiful Burn and Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie Acquire. These are I think the second and third book in the Beautiful Disaster series. I don't own the beautiful disaster but I bought these two because they were like super cheap as second and Charles. The last two books I have is The Marriage Bargain which I got this one also in my May haul and Sublime by Christina Lauren which also was in my May haul. All right, and moving on to the last um, section here, we have um, The Vincent Brothers. This is a series by Abby Glines. I've never read these either. I don't really know why I bought them because um, they don't sound amazing to me, but I did buy them for some reason, so there they are. Eventually, I will get to them probably. Then we have On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. Love this book. I read this in April. And then we have My Favorite Mistake by Chelsea M. Cameron. I just bought this book a um, about a couple weeks ago and I haven't started it yet but I'm excited to read this one. Next up we have Fever by Maya Banks. Um, not sure if I'm gonna read this one. Um, I think I got it because it was like a dollar but I don't know. Next up we have Archer's Voice by Mia, Mia Sheridan and I absolutely loved this book. It was so so good. Um, highly recommend this one. Then we have The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmer Redmersky. 
Red Mursky? Sure. Um, I read this book and I'm pretty sure it left us on a cliffhanger because there's like a second book, but never got the second book, so great. <laughs> Next up, we have The Silent Waters by Brittany C. Cherry. Um, absolutely freaking love this book. I want to own all of the Element series just because I've read two books in that series and absolutely loved them. Next up, we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. I got this with my book of the month purchase and I'm super excited to start this one. And Lastly, we have Run Away With Me by Mila Gray. I just got this um, at the very beginning of the month, I'm pretty sure, and started to read it, and I got halfway through it and was bored out of my freaking mind, so I shelved that, and maybe eventually I will come back to it, but honestly, probably not. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it was more of a cover buy for me because... This is just a beautiful cover and also like the spine is like really pretty pink and so I really just bought this I think for the cover and the spine and it sounded okay but it just didn't do it for me. So this is the overall view of it one last time. Um, this is all of my like fictional novels. I have a good bit of faith-based non-fiction books that I keep on my little cart over there, um, but these are just my um, fictional novels that I've collected over the past year. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be seeing you guys in future videos. Must be something